Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for yet another combination reading. So I literally just have just a couple more of these and uh, I've finished the whole uh, Zodiac. So have at it. They're all down below, different combinations. And uh, the only thing that I didn't do was like doubles, like Aries on Aries or Taurus on Taurus. I might, I might do that. Um, but... Uh, all other kinds of uh, combinations are down below if you miss these. So uh, if you are returning back, welcome back. If you're brand new, hey, my name is Shannon. I'm glad to have you. <laughs> and uh, welcome to my channel. It can be very intense. We do look at a lot of criminal activity most of the time. I could come across religious, but I'm not. I love the truth, and the truth is found in the tarot. A lot of people know that, and a lot of people don't know that the truth when I say the truth, I say the scripture. It's found here. And uh, so it's it's honored here is what I meant to say. Um, so sometimes scripture can come across real heavy in a reading. Sometimes not. I do pull from a homemade deck. It's got everything you can ever imagine in this deck. And we just let Yehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, tell it. Because he does. And he deserves all praise, glory, and honor. He is my Yeshua, my salvation in Hebrew. I kiss his son, and I'm not ashamed of him. And so uh, he walked among us in the flesh, and I confess him. And he lives in my heart very strongly. And I'm just for the spirit of truth, and I seek my daddy in heaven in truth in truth alone it's the only way to live people because that's the true light there's a false light out there and uh, i live in the true light and uh so anyway you'll just learn me as we go if you stay on this channel now because we do look at criminal activity and moral law and, and things like that we're also looking at end time prophecy and stuff and we'll get heavy heavy revies so I just did a reading and there was a judgment for bestiality on somebody. So that kind of stuff sometimes comes out. We let Jehovah tell it because he sees it all. Okay. All right. We are going to take a look at, let's see. Um, obviously, you know, because it's written at the top. What else? I got? Virgo and Pisces. Yes. Virgo and Pisces will be the next uh, reading that we will do. Jehovah, just come on in here. I just appreciate you so much. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy. Shove it down to the pit right here, right now. And I just thank you for it, Jehovah. Show me Virgo and Pisces energy. Um, Pisces could go to the moon. It actually goes to the fourth house. We could use it. Um, feeling like... The, actually, that's the whole axis right there as well. Give me just a second. Could be secrets here. Um, this is a very spiritual house as well. If you are dealing with, uh, because the, the Herman is also very spiritual. If there are real big secrets or big time intuition having to be used at this time because of some situations or there's something around a mother or children um, or just your home in general, that's at the bottom of the deck. All right. So, but we do have the whole axis here. Um, this, so you know, priestess type of energy, this house of Jacob in the Hebrew, uh, patriarchs of family, this will take you back to older people as well, the letter B and the letter J appear uh, on the pillar, and uh, the T would be here, it's already here with the Tet in the Hebrew, so uh, a judgment, if something is filthy and dirty and somebody's another party somewhere, and they've been quiet, and there's a secret or a big time deception because somebody's trying to catch somebody up in a net, then that energy is here. There's, some type, it, there's, there's, it, there's, a, there's a judgment on something, and it's time for it, for some of you all um, to either know about something that's been secret or to communicate something now that might have been emotional or deceptive around somebody. Uh, if you're dealing with legal matters, and we've got, you know, a judge, a lawyer, um, you know, we've got tax collectors here with the hermit. Um, something around businesses here, secret for some of you all that uh, you're just trying to fill out and analyze and, and believing that you need to, you know, just, uh, you know, get into some type of a mode where a judgment can be put on something or somebody's doing that around you that could be around you as well. Some people's got third parties going on. If this is another woman, then this is another woman here for somebody, okay? Um, they don't have to be sexual. For some people, it will. For some people, it just be somebody just uh, it's secret around a person within a matter, okay? It could be a friend involved in something that's gotten real filthy within something and somebody just trying to analyze or heal something in a very big way around a matter. Let's see what's going on with this energy. Show me Virgo and Pisces. 
tummy Virgo and Pisces, please. Somebody could be feeling really lonely. All right, well, somebody feels like they're stuck in a rut. To me, this card is really sad because, you know, either somebody's getting up here and they're taking a cup right out of the, the because normally it shows the hand of the divine holding the cup and for, and giving it, giving somebody another chance. Either somebody's taking it and trying to heal something with soulmates down here, or somebody really is filthy and dirty and nasty and they don't give a rip and they blast me in the Holy Spirit and they've taken that cup and they go, I don't care. And that's dangerous, especially if you're dealing with spirit matters and stuff like that because it's really here I mean we do have a snake and I'm talking about end-time prophecy she's got the Torah on her lap then you know there, there's there's some type of something here with that energy for some of you all there has been a war I just seen the six of wands there and I think it came out with the uh, hermit card when I did Gemini energy so somebody did walk away from something there's something very much emotional out here in your energy where a war has been only because i just seen the six of wands for some of you all whatever that has been there, there's something very much emotional out here uh, between other people or secrets or something that's got real filthy and somebody walked away from something and invested in in something in a very emotional way and we see somebody just say goodbye and if they went to go get that other cup and decided to forget it and they got mixed up into something that's poured poured the crap out, then I guess that's what's showing here. That's huge energy. Um, it's a lot of emotions. Show me um, Virgo and Pisces, please. Okay. We've got children and a lot of money and business out here. And uh, I guess I'll take this one as well. So, uh, again, water is out here really big. And so little children and teenagers could be out here with the um, little spy card. Or somebody being really quiet while they're checking somebody out on the Internet. I feel like my, sorry about that, guys. Um, somebody being real quiet, being a little spy, or somebody is being investigated around legal matters, or you work for the law, and there's some type of a secret agent here around something. Um, then I guess it's here. Um I will say, just because Virgo is here, and for you, Virgo, I just did the um, Virgo and Scorpio reading, and we had the rune come out, which was the letter F, and I am seeing the F here, okay? That went back to livestock and trade and trust and something secret going to come to the light about something and evasion and stuff like that. Uh, somebody is spying on somebody and you don't realize somebody else coming up behind you spying too possibly or there's a group involved in something or maybe you're not even paying attention to some type of conversation but there's, there's other people in this picture for some of you all it might be the case because there's, there's you know obviously something's happened down here with other people within a matter and so if there's some type of filthy legal case going on and there's fraud issues since that F can take you back there then there's large sums of money here in your reading okay so we've got a, if this inheritance is okay so somebody did accomplish somebody get you know put down in clay and something that filthy and somebody died or some, something happened around somebody's inheritance or something like that then that would be here okay so this is Virgo holds this in the deck as well loneliness high discernment real high volume discernment uh, if you're in the upright somebody's around you and you're you're on a case there's big time high discernment here within a matter we also have a jet out here and uh, obviously this is business we have the word job out here somebody's also had a job like moment and went through uh, hell and high water especially this has been real emotional on somebody okay within a matter okay it's something that has been communicated or said or around children and or business or physicians or something like that let's take from this homemade deck you hope you just pick it Um, we're dealing with, um, family, somebody's filling a void or had been filling a void. This is loneliness. We segregate you. We're going to use your, your pentacles. Okay. So, some type of a loneliness energy is here. Some have been feeling so empty within some matter because of uh, whatever the situation has been. It's right here. I mean, th this is apathy and. Uh, you know, I'm stuck in something. I'm not feeling fulfilled. I'm emotional. You know, some, this is, it goes back to just commitment. Some, somebody's, you know, being selfish and just drinking all the time or doing something. Then, then that energy is here. So somebody's empty. It's 
been some something about an entrance is also here. So if you're dealing with the, something about going into a door or into a space that's empty or something like that is also here. Uh, if you're dealing with a fitness instructor, then something about uh, or you're thinking about going to work out or something like that, then that's here as well. Um, the watchtower is here. Uh, specifically and so somebody has been um, scrutinized and tested and been watched within some situation there's been a trial here then this could be a lawyer around something because a word specific word trial somebody knows something and actually the tower came out in the um, one of your readings Virgo somebody knows something watching something has been really tempted around some situation and there's just uh, a lot of emotional something around the situation again this is a little spy somebody spying on somebody okay so and then we've got the tower out here and we've got something that just came out the name of Jehovah Elohim is a strong tower and we run into it and they're safe okay well the towers out here. If you're not running into your oldest tower, then you're screwed. That's why somebody's empty out here. Um, benefits and rewards and something to do with work and your production is also out here within your reading. Um, the rodeo is here. We do have a, if you like going to the rodeos or something happens, you know, obviously something happened with the rodeo or an animal somewhere in somebody's connection. Uh, when your hands folded inside of mine, it was a perfect fit. And pro uh, we're getting a lot of stuff about um, tower-like energies on the other side. Pride goes before destruction. The tower card shows a destruction of something. So somebody was real prideful within something. They lost something that was really emotional and invested within some situation. Somebody got prideful in business or in a commitment or something that was said or done or whatever the crap that has been pride goes before a destruction now listen in the virgo reading somebody was either getting warned or somebody has already went through a destruction and there is no remedy for somebody but you always tell you something before it happens and so if, if something's been on the inside of you and you've been running from Jehovah. And he's got to come out here three different types of ways to tell you that the way, the reason why you are feeling the way that you do and empty on the inside is because you don't run into my tower. That Then that tower is a pride and ego and it's going to be a destruction and you are never going to get up. There's going to be, there's some, going to be something that's going to be so broken because pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be with the humble spirit. Then with uh, and with the lowly, then to divide the spoil with the proud. And somebody's done some type of situation with money, okay? Because again, we got fraud issues out here as well with that F that was just hitting me. It always does with that card. And somebody's done something pridefully, or they're haughty, and you hope is trying to give somebody a chance to do some situation. If the rodeo is nothing but horse races or something like that, and somebody's won some kind of gambling money on, I just this just come through my spirit that way then I guess something like that is out here with your energy we do have a cashier energy so we do have money energies out here and we also have a runner or somebody's been running okay so we have the letter J coming out here we already have the J so JJ is here we got two T connections here and then we have the bet which is a B and an F is out here okay um Jeff, the name Jeff is out here as well. Beef and Facebook energy is also, if we got the tower, we got something on Facebook as well going on. Somebody being secret, maybe even a disguise in that energy as well. If there's some type of a money situation going on around that, then that's here. This goes back to uh, somebody having the same type of a interest within a marriage or mutual interest somewhere. It's also a recovery rune and healing and a completion of some type of a cycle there's some type of a, a yield or a result within a matter and hopefully if you're going to run into the tower in an upright way then great otherwise somebody is is under some type of a destruction 
uh, because of haughtiness and somebody had you know shed innocent blood somewhere and somebody's not going to have a remedy within a matter so we got marital situations going on and actually I forgot to take this other deck in a couple of those other readings so I apologize for those of you who are cross watchers for this and I didn't take this little deck within a couple of those videos show me Virgo and Pisces So something, something about uh, being cheerful. Okay, well somebody, you know, if, if, if there's third parties, somebody has a mutual interest somewhere, somebody is cheerful, and they walked off to go do that, and then for somebody, I guess something's going to be cheerful, or it will be cheerful for you if you do the right thing, or something happened at some type of a celebration. There's a lot of cups here. There's just a lot of cups in your reading, okay? Love situations are here. Baby situations are also here. So if there was another person, then I guess there was for some people. We also have somebody who's dealing with mental issues or somebody who's sick physically or mentally within a matter because they've just, they're emotional. Somebody's empty out here. There's an empty space. Somebody's desiring to be filled, but they're, they're there needs to be, you'll hold that in your life. Okay, you can believe the way you want to. I just know my Elohim and he's good and he's the only one that can heal somebody. Again, if somebody does not do what Jehovah says, and because somebody kept getting reproved, kept getting reproved, kept getting reproved, and they're going to have no remedy, somebody's going to go crazy within some matter, okay? Or you are dealing with somebody who's already crazy. It's a crazy card. This is a, this is a physician as well. And we got, so this would be like the hermit. You're dealing with older people within a matter or somebody much older than you, then that's out here. Somebody's been real rigid because Jehovah said there's haughtiness out here, okay? There's pride and ego out here within some type of a connection that's gone on, okay? And somebody just went crazy within a matter um, because of some type of a love connection down here. They just, they're, they're just empty. There's, if they're just choosing to be empty. It's showing somebody just pouring it out. Um, whatever this is, this will come out for your energy. It's, uh, I feel real heaviness, um, with this connection. I send you love and light. I really hope that those of you who are taking the chance to run into Jehovah to fill you up will do that. Otherwise, I don't know what to say to you. Uh, it's a shame to me. Until next time, Shalom.